Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode, long notwithstanding, of Cooking for People as Lazy as Me. Today we are making banana bread. You will need the following items. Obviously some bananas, uh, very ripe bananas because non-ripe bananas don't mash up very well. Uh, some butter, which you will melt. You'll want some sugar. Uh, you can put as much sugar as you feel like it. Um, half a cup, a cup. Depends on how much sugar you want, I guess. There will be an egg in that you will beat uh, into just a, you know, beaten egg kind of thing. Uh, vanilla extract. Make sure you can find it, because I didn't know where mine was for like ten minutes trying to film this. Uh, a pinch, tiny, tiny pinch of allspice. Some baking soda, which you'll be using, what, like a teaspoon of, I guess? Um, you can put salt in it if you feel like, I'm not gonna. And then flour. Like a cup and a half of flour. You also want some sort of cooking spray or butter or whatever to use for the pans that you're gonna put your banana bread in. I'm gonna use a couple of these, but you can use a, like a 4 by 8 pan or anything like that if you want. Step one. Take the butter and melt it. I have it on like the lightest possible setting for the tiniest amount of time. Uh, let it melt and then you'll grab it with like a dish pan, a dish pot, or something like that. You know, stuff to pick something hot up. Secondly, let's mash these bananas up with a fork. Get them like, you know, all good and mashed up and junk in there. There. Oh, look at you. You're not done yet. Ha ha ha. Uh, just get them all like hella good mashed up so that they're uh, this consistency kind of thing. You're going to want this sort of wet, kind of goopy banana mash. Toaster's taking too long to melt the butter. Going to do it in the microwave. In the meantime, uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Right, so it made a mess, but it's melted now, and it's also over oh, hot. Ow, 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 shit, that's really hot. Right, let's try that again. So we're gonna grab this thing with something that's gonna make it so that it doesn't burn you to death, and just pour all of it into the banana mixture. We'll throw this into the sink. Mix this up now. Ah, oh, that looks so gross. Check. Okay, so you've got your butter and, and uh, banana. Next up, you're going to put in a teaspoon of baking soda. Just a teaspoon. Mix it up. Mix this one well. If the baking soda isn't well mixed, it sucks. Next up, allspice. I'm just going to put like a tiny, tiny little dash in, because you don't need more than that. Like, that much. Maybe not even that much. Okay, next up, your sugar. I'm putting in half a cup. You can put in how much as you'd like. Sugar, 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 sugar. Sugar! Don't leave any, like, dry bits of the, the mix on the side of the bowl, because then you'll get nasty big chunky shit, and that's no good. Next up, your beaten egg. Take an egg, beat it, put it in the thing, drop it inside. Oh, this is looking pretty delicious. Look at that. Ew. Vanilla is next. Just put like a teaspoon worth, so like, not a terrible lot. Uh, vanilla is hella overpowering. If you put in too much vanilla, you will know it and you will regret it. Oh yeah, I can I can smell that tiny, tiny bit of vanilla, because it's vanilla extract. It's hardcore. Next up is your flour. One and a half cups of flour. Do it gradually, like a half a cup at a time, because it gets hard to mix otherwise. Also, don't fling it all over the place like I just did, because uh, 
you're trying to be lazy and you don't want to clean that shit up afterwards. If you have something better than a fork to use for this, like a rubber spatula or something, or an actual whisk, then use that by all means because it makes less work. I found a fucking whisk. Now I can actually get some work done. And there we go. Now it's this sort of like uh, brown, tan, beige looking consistency here. And that's how we want it to look. I have flour all over my camera now. Um, it is at this point that you can look into your pantry and figure out if you want to add some extra junk to it or whatever. Uh, what's good in it? Raisins are good, chocolate chips are good, bits of cereal are, are kind of good. It depends on the cereal, obviously. But, uh, yeah, once you have your batter set together, we're going to put it into a pan. So let's prepare our pans. you got to use some sort of non-sticking agent on them. Just, you know, make sure that there's non-stick stuff in them. And then from here, we're going to pour our batter into the stuff and then put it in the oven. In the oven. Oven, center rack, not bottom rack. We're going to take these and we're going to put them right inside of here. Try not to horribly disfigure your hands when you touch the, the metal, which you inevitably will because I do it all the time. My oven is old and doesn't have a uh, timer on it, so I'm going to use my microwave timer. And I'm going to put in 45 minutes to start. And then... Timer start? Is there a timer start? Does it go by itself? Does it? Go? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Anyway, so now just uh, wait for a little bit. And when this thing goes off the first time, we'll come in and check them. you don't do your dishes now, you'll have to do them later, and that sucks. So in the interest of being able to be lazy and not have to do a shit ton of them all at once, just wash, like, your bowl and shit now. I'm shitty at waiting. Let's go play video games. You know what else is really long? The intro cinematic to Final Fantasy VII. We're going to take a chopstick and poke it into the middle of one of these. And it is definitely not yet done. You can see that there's debris from it still being wet. Fine. Well, only another 16 minutes to go. These things have got to be bloody done by now. Yeah, beautiful. I mean, that's a crumb on there, so yeah, we're good. Let's pull these things out. Alright, let's get this stuff out of the oven. Hopefully they have not burned, because my timer decided to not go, actually. At the end of the time, it just didn't make any noise, which is kind of disappointing. I need something to put this down on. There. So as you can see, there springy to the touch and when you take a uh, piece of something like a chopstick and you insert it into one of them it comes out completely clean well mostly clean anyway so now let's let them cool for a little bit pop them out and then eat one banana bread's a great food for like the lazy thing because it's born out of laziness or possibly forgetfulness because uh, you have a bunch of bananas just sitting around and then they start to go bad and you're like, well shit, what do I do with these? I better make banana bread. So let's go ahead and just uh, break one of these dudes open and see what it looks like inside. Let's take this thing and we'll just sort of pull it open like that. Ooh, look at that. Mm-hmm-hmm. Time for the taste test. I really need to shave. Looking myself in the little tiny screen in the camera makes me really wish I had shaved earlier today. <sighs> Alright. Oh, it's much too hot. But, it's perfect. It tastes great. And like, you can eat banana bread with anything you feel like. 
Uh, if you made it in a loaf, you can cut it and put, like, butter and cinnamon and junk on it like that. Uh, if you made it in little muffins, obviously you just pick those up, dip them in something, and then eat them. I don't know. But they're good. You know, they're delicious and they're easy to make. And once you made them, they store pretty well if you put them in an air airtight container. Um, yeah. Cheers.